Hey guys, it's Paul Potter with Crappie Fishing TV. Today in this episode, we're gonna go out here and show you how to find fish on a lake without using electronics. It's coming up right now in this video. All right, so I had a subscriber, uh, Patrick Farmer, who commented on my previous video and asked if I would do a video on how to find crappie without using sonar or electronics. So that's what we're gonna do in this video right now. So I've got a couple of spots out here on Grand Lake that uh, you know, probably three years ago uh, when we started guiding, I didn't have uh, you know the expensive uh, live scope sonar setup or anything like that you know we had to find these fish the old-fashioned way uh, you know for those guys that don't have the sonar don't have the expensive sonar side scan uh, live scope this video is for you so we're gonna go out here to these spots and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I was looking for when I found these spots so you can go do the same thing to catch these crappie without using all that expensive sonar let's go right, guys so tip number one that I have for you guys today is follow the channels to find crappie. If you don't have expensive electronics, what you're gonna need to do is buy you a map. I think you can buy them for 10 to $15. You can buy a map and you'll be able to see where those channels are going. And this right here is the channel. And what you're looking for is a channel bend. You can see this channel, it goes all the way out. It goes across the lake and then it comes up to this, to this little cove right here and then it bends. And where that channel bends, a lot of times you may be able to fish from the shore. Or if you have a boat and you just don't have electronics, at least you'll know that you're fishing where the channel is. Then all you gotta do is find the brush piles in that location. Or you can drift fish, you know, to try to find the fish. Uh, a lot of times what I used to do was put four poles out uh, in front of me, uh, go about 10 to 15 foot down and just drift in an area until I start catching fish. So after I found this cove by following the channel, then we went into the cove and that's what we're gonna do now is go drive into this cove and I'll show you exactly what I was looking for. And this is what you guys need to be looking for as well. All right guys, so we pulled into this cove and the first thing I was looking for whenever I got here was lines hanging down off of docks, which brings us to tip number two. Look for cords and line where people have hung brush piles on the outside of their docks. So if you don't have uh, electronics, you know, like base, even like basic sonar, you're not gonna be able to see brush piles underneath the water. So what you're gonna have to look for are visible brush piles. And you can do that by looking for those cords, looking for those lines that are hanging off of docks. All right, so tip number three today for fishing from the shore or on a boat without electronics. Look for deep water next to shallow water. Uh, just like I showed in that example where that channel was going right in front of that cove, well that channel's 90 feet and then that cove is about 15 feet. But what that allows the fish to do is hang out in that area and they can easily go up or down in the water column, uh, you know, to help regulate their body temperature and that's why they like hanging out uh, right next to deep and shallow water. Okay, so tip number four I have for you today is look for points next to these channels. For instance, you see this point right out here. This is a point. It's sticking way out here. Now, if that channel was bending right over in here, and let's say there was a drop off here, so it was real deep, real shallow, you got the point right here, and then you got the channel going right by there, that would be perfect. That's the kind of stuff you want to look for when you're fishing by yourself and you don't have graphs, you don't have electronics, you're not sure where the heck to go to catch fish. These are the things you want to look for. Whoa, anchor down, down. 